Being an advisor at Princeton is challenging and very rewarding because I get to talk to students outside the classroom. Students talk to me about what brought them to Princeton, the kinds of things they're interested in learning while they're at Princeton, and the kinds of things that they want to do with their summers and their life after Princeton. So I get to know students as people, not just as the person sitting on the other side of the table in a lecture room trying to understand what I'm talking about when I'm teaching which is a very different relationship that you have with students as a professor and as an advisor. Meeting new freshmen every year. The beginning of the fall is awesome. I get to meet a whole new group of uh, really wonderful, smart uh, people, and uh, we get to hang out for a couple of years, and I get to see what they do after they graduate, and that's pretty fun. Um, well, I love being an advisor because it actually gets me to hear more about what's happening at Princeton that I normally wouldn't hear about from the students. Uh, I get to hear about um, all the activities that they do, things like bonfires and uh, different things that I wouldn't necessarily be exposed to just teaching a course. Getting to know different kinds of students. I've been working in and now I'm director of the program in theater for a long time, so I certainly know a lot of students that are interested in theater, but what's been really great for me is meeting people that have a wide range of interests. And I think that's one of the things that makes Princeton special is that you get to interact with scientists, with engineers, with language people, with artists, with philosophers, with mathematicians, the huge range of people that in other kinds of universities tend to be a little more siloed. What's been great for me is to kind of mix them all up. I love meeting incoming freshmen because they're always very excited. They are generally very open-minded about exploring uh, new intellectual situations and social situations. I, um, yeah, that kind of energy and enthusiasm is very contagious. Uh, it, um, it, it often also reminds me of why I decided to be a professor in the first place. Uh, because I, I, liked, I like to seize on that excitement. It's very nice to meet with students, see them from uh, different states, from different countries, uh, and especially advising freshmen and sophomore, you see them coming uh, out of high school, and then you meet them when they become juniors and seniors, and, uh, and it's just very, very nice to know that Princeton is a very special place. There's a lot of value added to the students uh, in their four years at Princeton. Uh, and that, I think, is the most, uh, most uh, exciting part about the advising role. <laughs> uh, what has advising students taught me about Princeton? Being an advisor at Princeton now for 10 years has taught me a lot about Princeton and the kinds of students who come here. Among the more important things is that Princeton attracts incredibly gifted and incredibly talented young people who want to come and study here. The problem is that when you're here, the place can be overwhelming and Princeton overwhelms not just the students but also the people who work here, both the faculty and the staff. And so I think the most important thing that I've learned while I've been at Princeton is a thing that students also learn very quickly and that is to not be overwhelmed by being here. We are only people trying to do a good job which is to help understand the way the world works and make it a better place and to help students go through the same experience. The Princeton is a challenging place that it is really easy to fall into the trap of comparing yourself with what everybody else is doing. So those are the challenges. And on the plus side, that there is something for everybody here. There is, no matter what it is that you're interested in, I guarantee you there is somebody on this campus who's made it their life's work. So some of the, the reward of a place like Princeton is how wide open you can explore and almost any avenue you go down, there's going to be somebody there that's literally going to be jumping up and down with excitement that you want to explore what that thing is. So it's an, a fantastic opportunity to surprise yourself. That's what's been great for me about being here. Is uh, advising freshmen, especially uh, freshmen, sophomores, has um, 
allow me to see a different dimension of student life that uh, I was not aware of prior to advising. It reminds me that the students who are taking my courses are also taking three or four courses on top of that and that they're probably engaged in other activities as well, that they might be writing for the newspaper, uh, going uh, to do community service to Trenton, they might, that they are um, involved in student government, they're singing, dancing, acting. Um, I think advising has uh, been a great reminder that uh, to me that the Princeton student is a very multi-dimensional student and that there is no such a thing as a stereotypical Princeton student. Uh, Princeton is uh, you know, one of the top research institutions in the world, but it's still a relatively small place in, in, uh, in, in many respects. And what uh, uh, my advising role has taught me is that these individual one-on-one -on -one meetings with, with freshmen, sophomore, uh, is that uh, you know faculty we are available to meet with students uh, um, and uh, there's a continuous uh, uh, interaction with the students and I find that a very special part of a, a great university like Princeton. If I had two pieces of advice to give to incoming students it would be these. The first is be your own person. Right? In high school and growing up People have given you ideas and encouragement about what are the kinds of things you should do, the things you should learn, the things you should aspire to. But now that you're at Princeton, you're an adult. It's your life. You have to make your own choices. So be your own person. Be willing to bring out those things that you've kept to yourself in the past because you thought that they weren't quite appropriate and bring those out and put them on the table and say, here it is, these are also things that I'm interested in, things I'd like to learn about, things I'd like to do, because I think this is the kind of place where we can help you do those kinds of explorations of who you are and what you'd like to do with your life. The second piece of advice is that you have to be willing to take risks. The world is a big place. It's full of complexity and ideas and interests and incredibly challenging problems. And to address any of those problems, to understand the way the world works, and to understand yourself and your relationship to the world, you have to take risks. You have to take intellectual risks, learn new things, and be open to learning new things and to challenging yourself. So these are the two big things that you should think about bringing to Princeton. I think the best advice I can give everyone is to keep an open mind. Um, there's just a lot of things here and while you may think you know what you want to do, you never know what you're going to find at a place like Princeton, something that may really take you over and, and change the way you think about life. Um, even once you've found your calling, uh, you should leave room for other kinds of courses that are very different. Uh, some of my favorite courses from undergrad were things that weren't in my major, that were very far from my major and allowed me to see things I'll, I never would have seen otherwise, and it's very hard to get that kind of experience after college. College is really your time to explore, so I would explore. Um, I guess the only other advice I, I try to tell my advisees is some advice I was given in college, which is to have the courage to take a course that you think you may not like. It sounds like a strange thing to do, but um, a lot of times you kind of decide you don't want to take a course in a certain area, and then if you have the courage to try it, you may actually find something that you didn't realize that you were interested in. Why don't you start with the assumption that your freshman fall is going to be really challenging and that you're not going to get all A's in your courses? If you can do that thought experiment with yourself, if you can free yourself from the need or planning to be summa cum laude when you first got here and have no idea what this place is, you'll be a lot freer and you'll have a much better time. Not in the sense of it always being happy and fun, but realizing that stretching yourself, challenging yourself, and making mistakes, and biting off more than you can chew, and thinking that you were good in one subject area and finding out maybe not so much, maybe it's something else, isn't failure, it's success. It's what makes Princeton, Princeton. Um, I advise students to read the emails that they get from their uh, college 
uh, uh, administrators, so the director of studies, their dean, their dean of student life. Uh, they are sending you those emails for a reason. They uh, generally have very good advice, so please do not ignore them. And don't be afraid to reach out to them because they're very knowledgeable about uh, the experience of um, Princeton students and they generally will be able to answer your questions. And if they are unable to answer your questions, they will help you find the resources so that you can um, actually have a good experience. Well, any other advice is, uh, you know, welcome. Uh, really looking forward to welcoming you at uh, Princeton University and Wilson College. Uh, you know, it may seem like, uh, you know, a, a, a major step in your, in your career. Uh, but I'm paraphrasing somebody, and I think I may have it slightly wrong, but it was something to the effect that anything I did in life, which later on turned to be worthwhile, was something which initially seemed uh, like I must be crazy to be doing this, or seemed like a very challenging task. Uh, Princeton is, a, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of hard work, uh, but all of us felt that way when we started as students. I was a student here at Princeton many years ago, um, and you know, we're all here to help you, and I'm sure you will do very well. So welcome to Princeton.